Hans Flick has identified some stars to strengthen his team for next season. Barcelona's priority is to build a destructive and strong team, both mentally and physically. Although Hansi Flick values individual quality, being physically fit is an attribute of the new management. That's why in this video you'll find out about Barcelona's main targets and the state of their negotiations. In a week's time, the 2024 summer transfer window will open and Barcelona will go through a busy period, during which some exits and some entries are expected. In order for elite signings like Joshua Kimmich, Nico Williams and others to materialize, players must be sold in B and returned to La Liga's 1.1 rule. Mundo Deportivo reports that Barcelona are just one step away from returning to the favorable 1.1 financial fair play ruling. The club has been working hard and eagerly awaiting a return to the 1.1 rule, which would allow it to spend every euro earned through player sales or wages saved. Barcelona will get out of the situation it's in. The club has choices to make when its managers decide to accept them, if they are the ones who believe they will provide the solutions. They have two or three top players they can sell. They sell. And with that, they solve a large part of the program. With that, they can generate an income that doesn't generate interest on debts. And with that, they can pay the players. In the last Deloitte report, it was the third club in terms of income. And it's still very high. The moment the wage bill is more adequate, Barcelona will be back on the market, said La Liga president Javier Tebas. According to Sport, Barcelona are prepared for a financial injection of 40 million euros, which will help them return to the 1p1 transfer rule before the summer window. After many months of negotiations with various interested companies, Barca have reached an agreement to sell the 15% of Barca Vision that Libero has stopped paying, which will get the transfer market back to normal. Barca believes that this agreement is a source of great pride, not only because it allows it to meet its budget, but also because it is done without having to resort to selling players or to activate another lever, or even advance part of the revenue from the new contract with Nike. In a recent report, Barcelona are now closer to a new agreement with Nike. The two parties have been working on a new agreement for a few weeks. According to Nike's latest proposal, they are offering more than the 100 million euros guaranteed by Puma. The Spanish outlet reveals that it could be as much as 120 million euros a year. A renewal on the new terms would probably be long term, 10 years to be specific. In addition, there is talk of a huge renewal bonus that Nike will offer and the board is optimistic of closing the deal soon. Barcelona are hoping to make official a deal that the club sees as a real success and which will allow them to return to the 1-1 rule once it has been validated by La Liga. The registration of the renewed players is a priority, along with the resolution of outstanding cases. Heading into the transfer window, Hansi Flick and Deco have identified the two main positions that need strengthening, defensive midfield and the left flank. For the pivot midfield role, Barcelona consider Bayern Munich ace Joshua Kimmich as a priority, while Mikel Marino, Real Sociedad, and Amadou Onana, Everton, are also targets. As for the left wing position, Athletic Club's Nico Williams is seen as the number one target, although Liverpool star Luis Diaz is also high on the sports team's wish list. In addition, there is also the possibility of signing a new right back, with Barcelona strongly linked with the transfer of Jeremy Frimpong from Bayer Leverkusen. According to Jordi Gill of Sport, Barcelona are working to sign Dani Olmo from RB Leipzig. The player is confident about the transfer and hopes to join his boyhood club. Barcelona see Olmo as a priority and value his versatility in attack. RB Leipzig are open to a sale. The transfer could be completed before the European Championship final in Berlin on July 14th. Olmo had an exceptional game against Albania, setting up Ferran Torres for the goal and impressing overall, first in midfield and then at left back. Adrian Sanchez, a journalist close to Barcelona, reported that Hansi Flick likes the idea of signing Xavi Simons this summer. Xavi Simons, an exceptional player on loan at RB Leipzig, has attracted interest from big clubs. Barcelona, who are particularly interested in signing him, have the approval of coach Hansi Flick. However, they face competition from Premier League and Bundesliga clubs. Simons and his team are taking their time to decide, but it is unlikely that he will remain at Paris Saint-Germain. Flick's approval could motivate Barcelona to seek a loan deal for the Dutch player. According to Sport, Barcelona have been offered the chance to sign Jadon Sancho from Manchester United. Although Nico Williams and Luis Diaz are the main priorities, their contracts could be expensive. Considering this, Barcelona sees Sancho as an option to strengthen their attack. Sancho had a falling out with Red Devils coach Eric Ten Hag and spent the season on loan at Borussia Dortmund, where he scored three goals and provided assists in 24 games, helping them reach the UCL finals. Barcelona's new coach Hansi Flick is said to like Sancho's profile and signing him could be an option if top targets don't arrive. Barcelona would only consider a loan move for Sancho as Juventus and Dortmund are also unwilling to pay United's asking price. 
Liverpool, Chelsea, and Arsenal are all in the fight with Barcelona to sign Nico Williams. The Premier League clubs would be ready to spend a lot of money on the signing. His release clause of 58 million euros and competition from the Premier League would make it difficult for Barca to spend a large sum immediately, especially with the need for a new holding midfielder. According to Mundo Deportivo, Liverpool's new manager Arna Slot has given the green light to signing Williams. If Liverpool managed to sign him, it could lead to the departure of Luis Diaz, another winger admired by Barcelona. Colombian player Luis Diaz is Barcelona's sporting director Deco's favorite for the left winger position. Although Rafinha performed well last season, Barcelona want a specialist for the role and see Diaz as a suitable option. Liverpool are open to Diaz leaving, which increases Barcelona's chances of signing him. The club is also working on signing João Cancelo and João Félix on loan, although there is no guarantee that the Portuguese duo will continue.